Hey there Taurus, this is Renee and welcome back. Taurus, this is going to be a general reading, so let's get into it. What do we have for Taurus? Let's get some energy. Okay, we have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Beautiful. Okay, and we also have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. Okay, you may be in a situation right now where, you know, maybe you need to see the other side of the situation in order to really understand the reason behind the response. Okay. Let's get some more energy for Taurus. We have quest. Okay, you may be going on a quest or an adventure. And we have forgiveness. So there may be someone in your life, Taurus, that you may need to forgive or accept as who they are is what I'm getting. Or someone may have the need to forgive you, you know? Um, and I feel like it has something to do with seeing the other side, seeing someone else's point of view, you know. Um, so there may be something that happened in the near past to where, you know, maybe there was some kind of situation to where you needed to see the other side of something and now you know that person wants your forgiveness or you have the need of forgiveness yourself okay but i feel like there is some kind of quest that you're going on at this time maybe it's a, a you know you're in this discovery of knowledge or uh, maybe you're going on a journey maybe you're doing some traveling you know um, but I feel like something is going on for you, Taurus, to where you are gaining more freedom, looking for your happy space. Okay, let's get some tarot for Taurus. Okay, we have the Page of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. Wow. Love, 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 love. The judgment and the three of cups. Wow. At the bottom we have the magician. <clears throat> I feel like you're manifesting something. You're manifesting some ideas. You're manifesting something that's going to bring more balance into your life. This is equal give and take. This is someone offering a gift. Um, someone being very generous and also I feel like someone is taking what someone is thinking but I feel like there's some kind of rejection here okay um, but I feel like you're actively growing. This is another card of expansion. So you could be definitely traveling during this time. But um, I'm trying to get another idea of what this is. Because I feel like, you know, someone is thinking about you. But there's some sort of rejection happening here. Um, the... What's popping into my head is taking the fish and spitting out the bones. So I feel like, you know, there's something around you to where, you know, someone may be saying something. Someone may be giving you some kind of advice. And you have to take the fish but spit out the bones. What that means is take what works for you and leave the rest behind. Okay? Um, so I feel like there's some sort of rejection going on here. Um, with that situation um, we have the page of cups the ace of pentacles and the two of cups beautiful there's some kind of offer being made here someone may be asking you out but I feel like this is a gift this is definitely a gift someone wants to 
offer you some kind of stability, some kind of uh, new opportunity. And this could very well be love for you, Taurus, because we have the Two of Cups here. This could be love. This could be partnership. Um, this could be union. Um, but I feel like this is a great new opportunity that's like a blessing for you. Okay? This is um, divinely guided. I feel like this is divinely guided. Okay? Now, with this card... You know, he has these seven cups, but he's finally made a choice. He's chosen this cup that it has not been revealed. And if you take a look at this, this looks very similar to like a judgment reaction. So I feel like, you know, you're looking for something new. You're looking for that new excitement, moving out of your comfort zone, um, moving away from all that is old and moving into new experiences, a new venture, having a renewed faith, okay? So I feel like the people that you set around you are very like-minded to you. I feel like they're all very supportive in their own way. And I feel like, you know, they're like boosting your confidence in, you know, keeping your faith up, keeping your spirits high, okay? Um, I, so I feel like you have a very good support system around you. This also may be you socializing more during the month of March. Um, I feel like you are... Being more social, getting yourself out there. Okay? You may be dating more. Um, but I feel like you do have one solid offer on the table for love okay so that's very interesting none of the other readings really had a whole lot of love in it so i'm very interested that you know your reading starts out with this huge love offer and this new beginning okay tell me more about this message for taurus give me more Clarity for this message for Taurus, please. Do we have? Wow, okay. Two cards wanting to come out. Okay, so we have the devil and we have the uh, Knight of, of Wands. We have the uh, Five of Pentacles, the Empress. Beautiful. The Fool, the King of Pentacles, and the judgment card again. So there's definitely some kind of new um, new beginning here. There's some kind of, you know, taking yourself out of your comfort zone and moving into new experiences, having a higher threshold for um, starting something else, you know? Becoming more aware, becoming Having more faith, a new beginning. This is renewal, being restored. So you may be more spiritual at this time. Um, there may be a lot of things that you're still curious about. I feel like you may be researching things, looking things up. Maybe you're learning something new. Um, but I feel like you're in this time of total awareness. You know, I feel like you're searching for some kind of knowledge, um, maybe to um, go ahead and take the focus off of having so many priorities. Maybe you're looking for a new job that, that's not as, um, that doesn't have as many responsibilities as you have, okay? Because I, I, I feel like this is, you know, you're very curious about finding something out okay okay we have the page of cups the devil and the um knight of wands and look how he's flowing right towards them you know okay with this page of cups i feel like this is an offer on the table but i feel like this is an offer that you're not expecting um i feel like this person may have may have a few negative issues maybe 
Um, for some of you, I feel like this is a Capricorn coming through. Um, this is the sign of Capricorn. Okay, so it may be a Capricorn that you may be dealing with. Um, this may be someone who's very obsessed. Maybe they think a lot about you to where they're kind of rolling into this obsession of maybe looking into things. Because I feel like they have a lot of excitement when it comes to you. There's a lot of excitement here, a lot of movement. Um, I feel like there may be some kind of travel. Um, <clears throat> and if there is travel, you may want to delay that travel for a couple days. Um, it may not be a good time to travel. But I feel like this is a lot of excitement. This is energy. You know, um, with the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know, this is the after tarot. Okay, so they no longer feel left out. They no longer feel like things are, you know, not going their way. Matter of fact, this is not the after tarot. This is the spellcaster. So I'm sorry. But yeah, that they they no longer feel like they're lacking. If we take the Ace of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles, that's the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like someone wants to share something very valuable with you. You may be kind of pulling your resources in order to do something special. Okay, but I, with this Two of Cups and this Empress card, I feel like whatever this is, this person finds you very attractive. This person finds you very appealing, very nurturing, very fertile for success. Okay, um, and this person may also be a single parent. The person that you'll be dealing with, it, they might be a single parent, but I feel like they're very driven. Um, they're very much in pursuit of something better. Okay, with the Seven of Cups, we have the full card. So I believe this choice that you have made is bringing you into this new journey, this new beginning. You know, taking some sort of risk, um, taking a leap of faith. So I feel like it's going to be very interesting. It's interesting for you because I feel like it's something that you're not expecting. Okay, now with this renewal here, stepping out of your comfort zone is going to bring you a lot of solid success, a lot of stability. So something that you may be in pursuit of doing, you may need to want to just do it because whatever this is, this could bring you a lot of success, a lot of abundance here. Okay, you could become more stable, more reliable, more dependable. Um, the King of Pentacles, he's also very loyal and wanting to take care of the people around him. Okay, he's willing to spread his wealth. So that is very interesting. <clears throat> okay, we have the Three of Cups and the Judgment card. So with, you know, with these people who are supporting you, I feel like they're, they're making you step out of your comfort zone. They're moving you into this new, into these new feelings, these new, I'm feeling kind of like a breakthrough <laughs> kind of vibe here because, you know, Whatever you're doing, Taurus, I feel like it's going to be very abundant. It's going to make you feel very satisfied and free. Okay? And I feel like, you know, this not only means renewal, but I feel like you're setting yourself free from some sort of situation. You're kind of becoming this free-spirited person. Okay? So maybe you're evolving into more of a free spirit at this time. Letting down your inhibitions. Hmm. Give me more clarity on this, Cancer. 
Give me an outcome. Okay. We have the Seven of Cups again. So you still have choice. You still have a lot of options. But you're creating your own reality. Look at this. We have several cards that are coming out that are, you know, multiples. And we have the Page of Cups again. So definitely some kind of offer coming in for love. Some kind of offer coming in for love. And I feel like with this offer of love, I feel like the things that are not, you know, revealed to you right away, I feel like it may kind of, you know, trigger your boundaries, make you have like a setback. But I feel like you're protecting your energy. But, you know, your situation is changing and expanding. You know, you're moving into this new awareness. You may be also doing a lot of traveling. And like I said, um, you may want to delay those travel plans for a few days um, due to some kind of situation. Okay. Um, we have the Seven of Cups and the Magician. So I feel like there's, you have many options here, but I feel like you're creating these options. You're creating these options from the situation, from the people around you. So maybe you're kind of absorbing the energies of the people around you because I feel like you're like almost becoming a different person. You're letting go of your inhibitions and you're like going with the crowd. Okay, so I feel like these people who are around you, they may be a good influence. They may be a bad influence. You know who's to say. But um, I feel like, you know, you're creating this new, these new feelings, these new realities. I feel like there's a lot of evolving going on right now for you and your sign. Okay. Okay, Taurus. Now, this one wanted to jump out very quickly. So, we're going to take this one. We have obstacles, blocks are lifted. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. Okay, so that is your card, Cancer. We're also going to get a few Moonology manifestation cards. <clears throat> and the cards just want to jump out at me. So Spirit really wants to let you know a message. Okay, we have open up to change. New moon in Aquarius. And we have first quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. You know, accept things with grace. And we have this again. Full moon in Pisces. Forgive. So there's definitely going to be someone in your life who you need to forgive or someone who needs to forgive you. Okay. So um, just be aware of that, Taurus. You know, letting go of any negative energy. Okay. Let's get an angel number for Taurus. Let's get an angel number. What? does Taurus need to know right now? Spirits. One, one, one. Destiny. Wow. Follow what you feel. Listen as your intuition helps to guide you to what you are manifesting. The inner whispers are helping you to create all that is that you desire. Listen, lean in, and follow your soul. Okay? Beautiful message. So you're 
angel numbers are one 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 destiny that's the reason why you're going on this quest and you have this freedom here because you are following your destined situation you are being divinely guided taurus okay this is your affirmation life is always happening for me i am allowing myself to lean in to what feels good okay that is your affirmation so taurus if this reading resonates you know i want you to type in the comment section 111 following your destiny okay and um, make sure to like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. I feel like at times this message was a little kind of confusing and challenging to read. So, you know, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. That may give you more, more messages. And I'll have that playlist towards the end of the video. Okay. And until your next reading, Taurus. Many blessings to you, love, and so much light.